Hey y'all, welcome back again. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to prep for knotless box braids and the supplies that I use when I do do knotless box braids. Of course, we start with the hair. And then this is the Tresemme Flawless Curls, the Bouncy Curls um, Defining Gel. I like to use that because it gives the hair a nice slip when you're doing your braid. This is my very own Restoration Scalp Serum. And I don't have a label on that because I don't want to waste the label if I'm using it myself. But I do retail that. And this is the Shining Jam that I like to use around the edges of the hair. And as usual, you can you will need a comb and some scissors. And don't forget your duck clips, your duck bill clips. So this is the hair, and I'll separate it and I smooth it as I lay it across the table and make sure the center part of the hair is centered in the table as well so you separate straighten out the hair and lay it flat Now what I'm doing is I'm going in the opposite direction and this creates a grid pattern for the braiding hair so that you can pull it one at a time and make sure that the middle of the hair is centered in the middle of the table as well. For this third row, you want to make sure you lay your hair in the center squares that we created with the first and the second row. This is just laying the foundation for the grid pattern that we're creating with the hair. And I like to use this method because I don't need to use a braid rack or any rubber bands, so that's less supplies for me. And you can do as many as many packs as you like layering on top of each other and they will not get tangled and that's the reason why you have to smooth it out and then lay it down as you can see I'm leaving the four corners of the table open this is the second pack of hair I'm sorry not the second pack the second bundle that's in the pack. And you wanna make sure those edges that are falling over the table are laying down straight as well. This is a little bit time consuming, but I guarantee you by doing this, you won't have to lay out any more hair when you run out of hair. If you're um, braiding hair, you won't have to redo this. You won't have to set out any more hair if you run out of hair. Now this is the third bundle that's in that one pack. And again, make sure you leave the four corners empty because I'll show you the reason 
in a little bit. So this is how it should look with one pack of hair with three bundles inside. And again, you can use two packs, three packs. It'll all be the same. Now what I like to do is I like to make sure all hair is free of these corners because I'll put my oil right there. And then I'll put my, I believe I'm getting ready to put the, oh, okay. I'll put the Tresemme gel right there and then I put my jam right there and sometimes I'll take my comb if I don't have my apron on I'll put the comb right on top of the shining jam that way I have all my supplies ready and on hand to straight go through my knotless box braids and it saves me so much time and I I did record the time that it saved me and it took off an hour and a half with me prepping a hair like this. So it's very beneficial. And this is how everything looks. This is how my setup looks when I have my customer sitting in my chair. And I am good and ready to go. And I just want to show you a close up of the grid pattern that I have. So as long as you smooth out the hair while you're laying it down, you won't have any problems. And this is how it looks when I go to do my customer's hair. I just take pieces and I pull. I don't have anyone physically right here at the moment doing their hair, but I just wanted to show you how I just grab the hair and that's how I start doing my knotless box braids. I'll feed them in one piece at a time. And as you can see, no hair is tangling. No hair is getting mixed up with the other pieces and you can just go on and on and this is what makes the time cut down a whole lot so i hope this helps someone thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe